We tested a lot of different kinds of materials yesterday. And we thought about the properties of all those materials. And you made a great list of all of them. So list, we had paper cups. And we talked about all the properties of the paper cup. We talked about the paper, Xerox paper, and the properties of the Xerox paper. An index card was one of the other materials. And the aluminum foil. We have felt. We have wax paper, which is um, really difficult to see because it's translucent up against this paper. We have paper bag, the plastic bags that you get at the grocery store. And we also have that nice little paper that comes in our presents, the tissue paper, right? One of the constraints for you today is that you have to design your sale on a popsicle stick. It has to fit into the raft. There's one other thing I would like you to do because this may not work. And if I have to redo it again, I want to know how many times I'm going to try it. And I want to save all of the ones that I tried. So I'm going to put a number one in the bottom of my popsicle stick because this is my first try. So when I do this the second time, if this one doesn't work, I'm going to put a number two on the bottom of my, my stick. Okay? But I'm going to keep all of my sales. And after I finish number one sale, and I've tested it, I'm going to write down test number and I put number one here. And I'm, I'm going to measure on the floor underneath the raft. It tells you how far your raft will go across. So if when, I've wind, when the wind actually from the fan blows my sail, um, Mrs. Bloom's going to tell me how far it actually went. And I'm going to write down how many inches. Okay? So when we're finished, we're going to see which one goes all the way to the end. And it's about 30, 40 inches. It's between 30 and 40 inches the whole distance. If it goes all the way to the end, then that's a good sale, isn't it? Right. Yeah, um, Daniel, what are you circling there? Files, index card, paper, and tissue paper. And why do you think, Daniel, those are going to be the best? Because ones? they're all strong. They're all strong. Good. And will they also catch the wind, do you think? Yeah. Good job. All right. You chose the ones that you like? These are the ones you think are going to work? Mm -hmm. Okay. The aluminum foil and the wax paper? Mm -hmm. Why do you think so? I think the wax paper will be good because it's light but not too light so it will rip. Mm -hmm. So it won't rip. So it won't rip or will rip? Won't rip. Okay. And what do you choose that won't work so well? Um, the tissue paper that fell, the index card, and the plastic bag. Okay. And why do you think the felt and the plastic bag won't work? Because the felt has holes and it looks too heavy, mm -hmm. and the plastic bag looks too light. Okay. Okay. Um, this is another piece, Erin. Thank you. This is this wax? Yeah. This wax paper. So tell me what you're making. And okay, and what materials are you using? The tissue paper and the plastic bag. Oh, so what's the plastic bag going to be? You're gonna, what are you going to do with the plastic bag? I'm going to put it over the tissue paper. Okay, and how are you going to attach it to your stick? I'm going to attach it to the tape and put it on the back. So. Okay, so now let's pretend that this is on the raft. What's going to happen? The wind's going to put the... The wind's going to be hitting it here. So what do you think will happen? What do you think will happen? Okay. Do you think it'll move? No. No? Is it going to move a little bit? Maybe. Hmm. What else could you do? So it would move. Kind of put it over the, uh, okay, so if you put it, that will make it stronger, you think? Okay, so thinking about that, too, because it needs to be a little stiffer, right? Okay, so, and Benjamin said, size and shape is going to matter. This is a good size, you think? Okay, so shape is going to matter, too. Okay, so that's why you picked the triangle shape? Yeah. All right, good. Good thinking. It's a triangle shape. But what's happening to the material already? Um, it's all, well, it's not attached, but if it was, what's happening here? It blows, yeah. So do you think it will catch the wind? No. So what do you think you might want to have to do before you actually 
I might want to attach this part to this part. Okay. Will that work, you think? Is there another material we could use over there that might make those stiffer? Because this is this is nice and light. That's a good that's a good property for the material to move along, isn't it? But how would you make that stiffer so it will stay and ca actually catch the wind? Because I think if they push, if they blow on that, what will happen if you blow on it? Blow on it, see what happens. Go hard. Okay. Mm, it just might. It might work by that itself, by itself. You could try it first, and if it doesn't, you could always go back and redo it again, right? Okay, so maybe. Maybe it will. Let's do it lower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's your prediction? What? Yeah. You want more? Why do you think? No, that it'll probably make it to like that. Okay. You ready? Oh. Oh, it just finished. Okay, so let's think about this. Let's think about this. What is happening to the sail? It's is it catching the wind? No. No. The wind is using is you, the force is there, but it's not able to catch it. So what could you think? What do you think you should do to make it catch the wind? What could to no, make strong. get a little okay. more around okay. to it, okay. have the wind go in it and push it. Good. Okay. So try that. Here you go. Okay. Who's next? You want me to try? Okay. Now how am I going to do this? Just stick this in here. All right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So it will work. Right? You never know. Yeah. It's blocking it. Okay, so what do you think you're going to do to fix it? Pick it up. Um, that can pick it up. <laughs> it doesn't get all the way down. It gets as far as about 29. So what do you think you should do? What's what's getting in the way so it won't get all the way to the end? The plastic bag. Yeah, the plastic bag actually worked and caught the wind, but it's too what? Low. It's too low. What is it, Daniel? Too. It's too big. Remember we talked about the size and the shape are really important. So maybe the size is just a little bit too big. Maybe you can make your bag a little uh, small. Small. Oh, yeah. really Good job, Jennifer. I wasn't sure that was going to work at all. Good for you. Good job, Wynn. You got it to work. Is that your first design, too? Yes. Wow, awesome. What caught the wind, do you think? What part caught the wind? This. This and this, you're right. It went through the tube. It went through the tube and caught it? Good job. And lots of places, huh? Can I keep this? You can keep all of your designs. Yep. Do you feel like mechanical engineers? Yeah. Yes. Did you make yeah. something? Did you improve something? Make something move? Yeah. Yes, you did. You did a great job. Tell me about your um, your design, Benjamin. Uh, I uh, thought three cups would catch that air and push it, but only if there was stuff right here to make sure it doesn't like. So let's say that the air was going over there. Uh, make sure it doesn't escape. Oh, good job. So you were really thinking, weren't you? So was it successful? Yeah, so the cups were really successful. How many people actually used paper cups? Raise your hand. Wow. Good job. How about you, Mary? What did you use? My first one I decided wouldn't work. Why did you decide it wouldn't work? Did you get to test it? You didn't even test it? No, it was too big and whenever I just told this part it fell. Oh. And I used a lot of material and I thought these could hold it up and the tape was falling off so I couldn't hold it. So before you even tested it, you did what? I decided, I asked myself, is this going to work? And what happened? We decided no. Oh, good job. So do you think engineers actually do that? Yes. You're right. Me. And so did you, what did your second one look like? Um, it looked like this compared to the first one. Can I hold the first one? Yeah. Wow. And this is your second try? Uh -huh. 
at the same same materials except for you missed the paper cups. Yeah, I didn't because the paper cups were really hard to do mm -hmm. and I kept zigzagging it and it was really hard to put on and I decided if I put them on then I'd have to use two sticks and then I couldn't really and then it would become like this one and it wouldn't work. Okay, good thinking. Did that one work? So did yep. that one work? It worked really well. It really worked. Anybody else have a material that really worked well besides a paper cup, aluminum foil, what did you use, Dylan? Paper and a stick. Paper on the stick. What kind of paper did you use? Did you use regular copy paper or did you use index card? Index card. Index card. Why did you choose the index card? Um, because it's strong paper. It's strong. So I thought it would be nice and good to catch the wind. And did it work? Yes. You're right. Good job. So. You feel like mechanical engineers? Yeah. Yeah, you did a really good job. And now, the information that you learned today, you're going to use when you build your paddles for your windmill. So all the information about the materials that you use today, you have to be thinking about how you can use those same materials to make a windmill go around and to bring the cup up, just like Leif did. The things that I hope the kids will take away, first of all, I hope that they bring some of their information that that they've gathered both in the unit that we've done in science and the understanding from the materials that um, they need to use the wind as power um, and to build something that will actually catch the wind and move the, the raft across the track. Um, it's often very difficult because they think they want to make the biggest, um, the most beautiful, the prettiest um, creation and often those ones don't work the simplest uh, actually works. So, but I do what I, what I do imp uh, enjoy about this is that they all get to watch each other and they look to see which one actually works. It gives them that opportunity to stop and think about improving. Um, and it actually happens on the run. So um, I think there's a lot of learning that goes on here um, and a lot of active, active learning as well as reflective learning. Um, I think the track um, is very laborious um, the first time. Um, I think after you've made it the first time and in making sure that you um, line it up and make the lines taut, it's very successful. I think you also have to make sure that you try a sail yourself to make sure that it does work. Um, and my, one of the other suggestions is that you always have some help. Um, making the track and setting it up um, is really important to having it taught and nobody touching it and to have these anxious children waiting to be tried to try their sails it's not always easy to hold them back from trying or touching the raft or touching the lines or moving the tables so to have somebody almost you know standing behind them and say okay now it's your turn um, makes it a little more easy for um, them to actually try test it and have a, a true trial. Reading the directions can be a little more challenging, but the, the how-to video makes uh, um, putting making the track um, and the raft um, a lot easier.